as promised, here's Tracy Smith with one whale of a tail. <laughs> In the summer before the pandemic, a worker on a scaffolding in Seattle could be seen touching up what looked like a routine paint job. And then you step back. It's called a whaling wall. Every creature is life-sized, and they look just as they would if you happened to see a pack of wild orcas at sea. The artist's name is Wyland. People go, well, how could you paint a 110 foot whale on the side of a building? Is that hard? I go, no, it's, it, you know, I imagine the whale swimming across the building and I just paint it as it goes by. These whales are swimming by on the side of the Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. But Wyland's done more than a hundred other murals like this around the world. So while I'm physically painting the whale, okay, my mind's eye is across the street at the same time. I can see the wall you can the see the whole thing. as I'm painting it. So don't tell anybody, it's kind of an inside secret. But it's no secret that Wyland loves what he does. Over the past 40 years, he's made a fortune selling smaller paintings and sculptures. And his work can also be seen in Wyland books on Wyland shopping bags, the cruise ship Norwegian Bliss, and even the surfboard art for Team USA. It seems his goal is to turn the world into one giant aquatic gallery. And this from a guy who once could only dream about seeing the sea. Born in Detroit, Robert Wyland never wanted to do anything but make art for a living. And while on a family vacation in California, he had a life-changing moment on this very stretch of beach. I came up and I couldn't believe my eyes. These two gray whales just broke the surface, spouted. That's amazing. I mean, that, that was like a miracle. A few years later, he packed his paintbrushes and moved to California, where he learned the meaning of the phrase starving artist. It got so bad that for a time he was living on a single Snickers bar a day. Okay, so you get a Snickers bar and, and portion cut it, in it out? Trees. Breakfast, cut it lunch, and dinner. Are you serious? That, that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner, yeah. But he kept at it, painting the sea creatures that were, for him, a never-ending source of inspiration. Wyland's an avid scuba diver. And in 2007, he invited me along on a dive off the Florida Keys. I feel blessed and lucky that I can dive, I can get in the water next to these great animals, manta rays, sharks, and see this beauty. And then all I have to do is put it up on the wall for people to enjoy. You can choose not to go into an art gallery or a museum, but you can't ignore a giant public mural. But his big canvases can also be big targets. He's been accused of commercialism, and major art museums have all but ignored him. Do you listen to the critics and those people, those voices? Well, I don't paint for the critics. I paint for the people. I love people. I mean, I'm collected by over almost a million people in all 50 states and 100 countries around the world. Critics, what is, I can't even spell critic. But Wyland can spell success, and he counts among his fans some very big names, including Paul Newman, who showed up at one of his book signings. I look up and I go, holy, there's Cool Hand Luke, right? He waited in line. He waited in line to get a book signed, okay? And uh, so he goes, hey, you're younger than I thought. I go, wow, so are you. For the record, Wyland himself is now 65, still young enough to climb a scaffold, like he did back in 2019 in Seattle. Restoring this mural took him three days. Okay. Welcome to the club. Wow. Might have been quicker if he hadn't let me help. That's beautiful. So cool. That's a good eye patch. You're bringing the science. Beautiful. Now, wait a minute, let me get you a little bit of white. He's going to fix it as soon as I leave. No, I'm not. You're good. It turns out that Wyland, through his nonprofit Wyland Foundation, does all these for free. In a way, each mural is kind of a public love letter to the ocean and to the creatures that will always be larger than life. Do you feel like you have everything? I have everything. I'm so grateful. I get up every day and I walk out there with my coffee and I look at that ocean and I just go, wow, I, I have no idea uh, how this happened. But 
man, am I happy it did. 